Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Glossy Philosophy. My name is Jansen Bidman and today you are tuned in for what do I pack if I'm going somewhere that is pretty much the same weather for spring break. You are so excited because you are going somewhere for spring break with your kiddos or maybe just a spring little getaway and instead of going somewhere really warm, you are going to some place that's basically the same weather as your home, wherever that is for you. So what do you wear? How do you incorporate some of those spring trends, but also make sure that you are warm? Let's get into the choices. So a couple things you want to think about when you are packing for similar weather is you are packing for similar weather. So unfortunately, you will not be wearing your cutoffs. You will not be wearing shorts. You will probably, if you're wearing skirts or dresses, be wearing tights. So just keep that in the back of your head. However, that doesn't mean that you can't kind of brighten up the colors that you bring, and it doesn't mean that you can't do some fun layering pieces. Along with that, it is really, really important, and this has gotten me before, to remember or to think ahead, what are the activities that you are going to be doing? Are you going with your children? And are they going to be like running around exploring things? Are you exploring with them? Are your kiddos older? And you know, it's a little bit more, not quite so running after everybody. What kind of activities are you doing? And for me, when I travel, I start with the shoes. And the shoes not only have to be comfortable to walk around for many hours a day because that's kind of how we like to travel, but they also have to work in the car because we are also driving there most likely. So you probably aren't going to bring your stilettos or anything that you can't stand in for multiple hours at a time and walk or run <laughs> after your children. Okay, so these are the two shoes that I will be bringing. Anytime I bring more than two, unless it includes a flip-flop, I never end up wearing all of them because it just, it never works. Unless I'm staying somewhere for more than a week, this kind of capsule travel wardrobe should get you through a week of travel, including the travel days. Unless something crazy happens, like you just dump a whole vat of coffee on you or something, and then you're probably going to need a new shirt. So let's start with the shoes. Okay, I know I am basing a lot of this on blues and blacks. So I'm going to be bringing my black tights. This is very important because I want to bring my black shoes. All right, if you are focusing on a different color and you know you're gonna need your brown shoes, then that's, you know, kind of a different story. So the black shoes that I would be bringing are going to be some shorter boots with a very low heel. These are from Born. They're, they've been with me for years. They're super comfortable to wear. And as long as I give myself like a day off with a different shoe, I can wear them every other day. No problem on my feet. Go, 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 go. All right. The other shoes I'm going to be bringing are going to be the Sam Edelman Penny Riding Boots. These are just my go-tos with skirts, dresses. They look good with pants as well, if that's what I need. So these are the two shoes that I'm gonna be bringing. One I'll be driving in, the other one, and then I'll switch over to the next one the following day. All right, so we kind of already talked about this, but something when you are traveling, no matter where you're traveling, is you wanna pick a couple colors so that you can mix and match. I don't know about you guys, but sometimes when I get somewhere, I thought I wanted to wear something very specific and then I don't really want to. So what has saved me is now making sure that the color palette is very like three colors and everything can be mixed and matched and then I can decide when I get there if that's what I actually want to wear. However, when you are building your wardrobe, it's important to have a specific, this goes with this, but it could also go plan B, okay? So I think it's really important to always bring a dress just in case you wanna go out for a date or you are gonna go to a nice restaurant, maybe you're gonna go see a show, maybe you are just a fancy person and you want to glam it up a little bit with a dress. 
and a dress like this. So this is from Bowdoin. It's like either rayon or polyester. So, you know, it's not a special fabric. It washes up well. If anything should spill, not a problem. And not only do I like the colors and that it's based in navy, which is absolutely going to go with like this whole wardrobe and it's totally fine with black tights as well because navy and black go really nicely together but I also really like a dress like this for travel if you are the person who is responsible for driving something like this is going to be magical for you because not only is it not going to wrinkle but every time you get out and go to a rest area or a restaurant on the way you're gonna look amazing which I love. I love traveling in somewhat of a style. I'm really not an athleisure kind of gal. It's just not my vibe. So wearing something like this on driving days is, it just kind of like uplifts my mood because every time I'm washing my hands or, you know, whatever, I just feel a little bit more like myself instead of, yes, I'm schlumping, you know, traveling and driving and uh, it feels just a little bit more glamorous and a little bit more fun. So this is a great one, not only for actual driving or flying or whatever, but it's also good for other events that may happen for you on your trip. In order to wear this dress multiple times without feeling like I need to wash it, I'm probably gonna wear a slip underneath so that it doesn't feel like it gets dirty from car sitting, basically. And if I need to, I can pair it with my jean jacket. So whether or not you have a jean jacket that has a little bit of a faux shear shearling detail, doesn't matter. A jean jacket is just like a ride or die when you are traveling and it looks good. It can, you know, make something a little bit more casual, but it can also kind of elevate something or just balance something else out that maybe feels a little bit too businessy when you're on kind of a family vacation. So this dress with this jacket is a really great way to go. And I'll just say one more thing about people who drive or fly or whatever. What I like to do, not only do I like to dress up when I travel, but I also like to make sure that I'm wearing one of my bulkiest items when I am doing said traveling because then I have more room in my suitcase and my kind of bulky jacket doesn't take up that space in the suitcase or the weekender or whatever luggage you are using and it just creates a little bit more peace in the packing process if you understand what I'm saying. All right, so we have our jacket, we have our dress. What else are we wearing? You could absolutely, by the way, 100% pack just a bunch of dresses like this and you would be fine because they take up like no room at all. However, if you like to mix and match and, you know, just get kind of like the most out of your wardrobe that you possibly can, then doing separates is going to be really fun. So let's start with some sweaters. Okay, we've got a cable knit sweater has a little bit of fun detail with the strong shoulder. So this can absolutely go with skirts, pants, jeans. It's always gonna look elevated. It's a classic piece. It's in like an oatmeal color. So again, it just goes with everything, which is wonderful. And then we have just a little bit of a pop of color, a little bit of a fun um, pattern with this lovely mustard sweater from Z Supply. So again, these guys can both be worn with any bottom that you pack. So black, since black and navy are kind of the go-to colors, you can wear it with your black skirt, you can wear it with black pants, you can wear it with your denim, whatever feels the most comfortable for you, that's what you're gonna pack. Then I would definitely recommend some kind of a button down, especially in a denim or a chambray. I just feel like this is like bringing a jean jacket. It just goes with everything. It, again, something like this. This has a little bit of like a floral detail, but if you get a plain one, like you don't even have to think about it. Goes with skirts, goes with pants, dress pants, denim. If you like the denim on denim vibe, that's awesome. It dresses it up. It doesn't feel too stuffy and it's like very easy to move in as well. Not too hot, good layering piece. So that one is a solid yes. A t-shirt a striped t-shirt especially it's just like a no-brainer you when you're traveling I feel like you don't want to have to think about things so hard you just want to keep it simple because 
you're probably not unpacking. You're probably just like living out of your suitcase and you don't want to spend like, what was this top supposed to go with this bottom or, you know, so just classic pieces, classic silhouettes, maybe a little bit of a fun pattern or a little bit of fun detail with a strong shoulder. And that's how you just kind of play and have a little bit of fun with your travel wardrobe. Otherwise going with classic shapes and styles is a great way to go. So this, obviously it's going to be cold, but a striped shirt is going to go with everything. It's going to go with navy. It's going to go with black. It's going to go with white denim skirts, pants done. You're going to layer it with your denim jacket and you're going to look so chic. No matter what you're doing, where you're going, you look put together, you look great. Classic. Okay. So what are we wearing on the bottom? We are going to be wearing a black pencil skirt. So a black pencil skirt, I think is just, again, one of those amazing pieces that seems to work with everything. I could pair this with every single top and feel really good, really put together. And it would also just add a little bit of that European vibe, which I absolutely love. I did miss one top, by the way, to talk about. This is a sweatshirt. So this year I'm kind of getting into the sweatshirts because they're not like workout sweatshirts. They're a little bit more classy. They're almost like a blouse and I love how soft they are. So this is another one that would be really good for traveling in. Um, I love the pattern and again, the stripes, they're just classic. You can't go wrong. Um, this is almost like a, like a slate blue. So again, it just goes with everything. It would look really cute and kind of a juxtaposition fun with the pencil skirt. If that's what you chose to do with a pencil skirt, I'm going to wear the shorter boots. And then we're also going to bring a little bit of denim. Now the trip that I'm talking about, we're probably not going anywhere super fancy or nice. If we were going someplace really fancy, a couple of these items would change. Maybe even a shoe choice would change as well. The vacation that we are talking about is a family friendly vacation. One where you're seeing the sights, you're walking around a lot and you are enjoying each other's company. Maybe you're going to go someplace nice for dinner or an art museum, something like that but nothing like really fancy. You're not going to the opera. You're not going to the symphony. If you are, then you definitely need to add something else and dress up a little bit more. Okay. So we are going to go with a kind of muted black wash jeans. I featured these many times on this channel. These are from cut from the cloth, the rose of straight leg. They have a raw hem, but I like to kind of bubble them up at the bottom. And I think that they, again, they just go with everything. So if I get to my destination and then like, I don't know if I should wear my skirt or my pants, it doesn't matter because both of these bottoms go with all of these things and they feel really good. The last thing I want to say before, you know, we kind of wrap up is just, if you feel like you want to go shopping for your trip, please, please, please make sure that you try everything on with the entire outfit that you want to bring because the last thing you want to do is go to your destination, put on your new stuff and then feel awful. So make sure that you try it on at home or try it on at home with whatever you're going to be wearing, including the shoes. Make sure everything goes because again, the last thing you want is not to feel good on your vacation. You've earned it. You're spending money. Make sure that you feel good and that you look good and you're gonna have a great time. So wear your wardrobe before you go. Make sure you love everything and everything you can move and groove and do all the stuff and that it just makes you feel really good. So that is the wardrobe. Thank you guys so much for watching this video on things to pack and things to think about for a spring vacation where you're going to someplace about the same temperature as where you live. I do fashion videos every Wednesday, beauty videos every Friday, and on Mondays we are tackling specific situations like packing, vacations, and just updating your wardrobe in more specific ways. So thank you again for watching. Hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe, and I will see you very soon in the next video. Bye!